The most important thing a man can come to understand in his life is what exactly is masculine frame. And of course, to have masculine frame, a man has to first be masculine. Now, the term I prefer is just to call it objectively masculine. The most common term is traditional masculinity, and a lot of guys have come to start calling it conventional masculinity in order to steer away from any subjective measures that the word traditional might bring with it. So conventional masculinity, traditional masculinity. I prefer objective masculinity because there's nowhere to go with that definition other than what is objectively masculine, which of course is physical strength, stoic command of emotions. That man will be brave, courageous, competitive, competent. All these things are uniquely masculine, not because women can't possess some of these traits themselves, but men are expected to have these traits. If a man does not possess these traits to some degree, he will be thought of as less manly and not respected, even in 2023. So a man needs to be physically strong, though it doesn't mean he has to have the heaviest bench press in the gym. And again, this is a uniquely masculine trait because a woman can go to the gym, gain strength, and most people will admire her for that. But a beautiful woman that has trouble picking up a 20 pound box Nobody holds that against her. And that's the point of what makes these traits uniquely masculine. So if there's a group of people in a public place, let's say, men, women, and children. Some crazy guy comes in, he's assaulting people. There's real danger present. If a woman steps up to try to take the bad guy out, her bravery will be lauded precisely because she's a woman and it's not expected of her. Whereas if a man fails to face the danger, imagine a man running away while there's women and children in harm's way. Even in 2023, that man will be ridiculed. So again, these traits are considered to be uniquely masculine precisely because men are expected to have these things. So when a man goes about being objectively masculine, he can then be in his masculine frame. And let's be clear on this. A man can have all of those traits and still not be in his masculine frame. I saw a clip, um, one of the famous football players, I'm not going to bother looking it up, but he plays for the Philadelphia Eagles. I think he's a lineman. Somebody will tell me who it is in the comments, but I guess his wife has a show or something, but somebody showed me this clip and she's giving him a hard time about them spending money on a little kid's ticket for a football game for the Super Bowl. And she's talking about how ridiculous it is to spend $4,000 for a ticket for a kid that's not even gonna watch the game. First of all, it's not your money, it's your husband's. And he makes a truckload of it, so why are you worried about $4,000? More to the point though, she's haranguing him. He's just sitting on the couch going, oh, okay. So this guy's an NFL athlete, a millionaire, good looking guy, and he's not in his masculine frame. He's in his wife's frame. So frame in large part can be defined as who's in charge here, who is setting the frame. Another simple example that I've used in a lot of posts is a guy goes to the gym at 4 a.m. He's been doing this for years. It works for him. The gym's not crowded. He gets it out of the way. He doesn't have to worry about the 5 p.m. crowd. And if you work out later in the day, it's just that much more likely things are going to pop up and you're just not going to make it to the gym that day. So go in the morning before work. Then his girlfriend or wife wants him to go to the gym later in the day for her own convenience. 4 a.m. is pretty early, and when he gets up, it wakes her up, and she wants to cuddle, whatever, but him going to the gym at 4 a.m. is inconvenient for her. If the man acquiesces and changes his gym time, he is entering her frame. Sounds like a small thing, but a guy that will change something like that, he's going to change a bunch of other things too. And so spread that attitude out across their daily life. He's entering her frame, and him no longer being in his masculine frame means he cannot be leading in that relationship. So at the core of having masculine frame is of course, first and foremost, being objectively masculine, as I said. But then that masculine man has to fully grasp what it means to have enlightened self-interest. Rollo Tomasi's made the phrase, your own mental point of origin popular, and I like that one a lot. But what he's talking about is enlightened self-interest. I first started thinking about this years ago when I was in the ministry, and I was never full-time ministry, and I worked around a lot of men that were big names in the church circles that I ran in. And these were good men, they dedicated their lives to this ministry. They were very successful. But I noticed in certain things, they really took care of themselves. So as a Christian, we're expected to sacrifice a certain amount, time, money, etc. And these men did all of that. But the more I got to know them, 
I saw that they did have boundaries. They were going to take care of themselves. At the time, I hadn't heard the phrase enlightened self-interest, but I remember thinking there's a certain kind of selfishness that we all need to have as a matter of self-preservation. And this is what Rolo Tomasi is talking about when he talks about making yourself your own mental point of origin. So this Philadelphia Eagles football player, he's the millionaire. He's the celebrity athlete. He is not his own mental point of origin. His wife is his mental point of origin. He didn't have enough sense or backbone to look at his wife and say, shut up, it's my money, $4,000 is nothing. I want my kids to be at the Super Bowl and see daddy play. Precisely because his wife is his mental point of origin, not himself. Now she's in control, he's in her frame. Which is the same as my example of going to the gym at 4 a.m. or when your wife wants you to go to the gym. Whose frame are you in? And when a man backs up on some small thing like that, it's never an isolated incident. If he's entering her frame here, he's going to enter her frame over here as well. I'm going to do some more longer form videos on this as well, but this is just to start the conversation going. First, be objectively masculine. Physical strength, stoic command of your emotions, brave, courageous, competitive, competent. Then understand masculine frame. If you've seen the video of that football player being harangued by his wife, that's the opposite of masculine frame. But embrace enlightened self-interest. You can be the biggest asset to the people around you when you've made the best of yourself. 25 years ago, I was an economics major with plans to go to law school. I had a wife at the time and one small child. Short version is, I thought, I'm going to be a better husband and father if I just go to work. I had a good job at Morgan Stanley at the time, so it wasn't a completely foolish decision. Fast forward 25 years, I didn't stay with Morgan Stanley because I'm not a very good salesman. And I do work in the corporate world and I make okay money. But how much more of an asset would I be to my family if I'd been a lawyer the last 20 years or so versus upper management for a small corporation? My family would be better off today had I not sacrificed for them to be what I thought at the time was to be a better husband and father. I should have stuck with my original plan, finished the degree, go to law school, Yes, I would have been away from the house a lot more, but just a few years later, I would have passed the bar and start working as a lawyer. And today, I would be a more valuable asset for all those around me. 